Now the Eulerian and Sterlingian permutation statistics have nice generating functions for those numbers. And the Mahonian statistics have a nice generating function also. That's the one that I want to focus on because we're going to use it the most. So the generating function for Mahonian statistics involves Q analogs of integers, or sometimes quantum analogs of integers, they're called. So if n is a non-negative integer, we can define n sub q called the q analog of n, or I like to say quantum n, by So it's a polynomial in Q that has the first, well, the first n minus 1 powers of Q starting from 0. So Q to the 0th plus Q to the 1st, etc., up to Q to the n minus 1. If Q is positive and it's just defined to be 0 if Q equals 0. So the specialization of quantum n at q equals 1 is just n, because we're taking a sum of 1s if, if q is just 1. Then we define a factorial function on the quantum integers, and q factorial by quantum n times quantum n minus 1 times quantum n minus 2, etc., all the way down to 1. Quantum 1 is just 1. That's if n is greater than or equal to 0, and we define the factorial of quantum 0 to be 1. So for example, when n equals 3, we have quantum 3 factorial is 1 plus q plus q squared, that's the 3 part, times 1 plus q, that's the 2 part, times 1. So that's 1 plus q plus q squared plus q plus q squared plus q cubed. So 1 plus 2q plus 2q squared plus q cubed. Now let me do this again in a, a slightly suggestive way. Let's write this as q to the 0th plus q to the 1st plus q squared times q to the 0th plus q to the 1st times q to the 0th. So if we multiply these out, we've got q to the 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus q to the 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus q to the 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus q to the 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus q to the 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus q to the 2 plus 1 plus 0. So if we rate it out like this, we can see that the exponents, which are going to give us 1 plus 2q to the first plus 2q squared plus q cubed, the exponent sequences are the codes of permutations in S3. That's the, the that is, they're the substair words. And since the sums of the letters in the substair words are numbers of inversions and corresponding permutations, we've just discovered that.
quantum n factorial is the generating function for, let me give myself some more space. It's the sum as k goes from 0 to n choose 2 of the number of permutations in Sn that have k inversions. Another way to write this that I can neatly fit here is this is the, the sum over all permutations in Sn q to the number of inversions of that permutation. And the reason to spell it out in general is that each term of quantum n factorial is q to the a1 plus a2 plus a3 etc. plus a n. Where a i is between 0 and n minus i. And it comes from the factor 1 plus, I'll write q to the 0th plus q to the 1st plus q to the n minus i in nq factorial. So when we write this out, We've got the power of q is anywhere between 0 and n minus 1, and then anywhere between 0 and n minus 2, and etc. So each one of these exponents comes from a different factor in n factorial. When we add them together, and look at the, cube, the coefficient of q to the k, we get precisely the number of permutations that have k inversions. And of course, since major index is distributed just like inversions, this is also a sum over all permutations in Sn q to the madge of that permutation. The end.